Hi YouTube, uh, this is Belinda. Uh, this is my first video. It's a weight loss uh, surgery documentation. Uh, I'm 41 years old and I'm from Tennessee. Um, probably about a month ago I went to my general physician and complaining of certain things in my back mainly because it's hurting so bad. And he suggested gastric bypass. And I told him no right away. Um, I told him I didn't think it would be good for me. So he asked me to go home, think about it, and discuss it with my family and friends, which I did. Thought about it for two or three days and called him back and decided to tell him I wanted to do it. And uh, started the ball rolling. <coughs> um, which the first step is a seminar. So I went to the seminar. That was October 13th, I believe it was last Thursday, and learned a lot more new information that I didn't have previously, and I felt more comfortable with making the actual decision to really do the surgery. They had what they call, um, I guess, a patient's advocate, someone who had the surgery on that premises, and he spoke to us, and he weighed like 435 pounds, and he was down to like 185, so it was pretty impressive. <clears throat> I did understand the risks in, risk involved a lot more. Um, it was just very eye-opening. It was very interesting. So, I came home, filled out all the paperwork, called them back, and uh, I set up an appointment for uh, my surgeon, which is Dr. Ray, at Blunt Memorial Hospital at Foothills Weight Loss Center. <clears throat> in Maryville, Tennessee. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee, so it's about a half hour drive from my house, so it's pretty rough, uh, especially with gas prices. Whew. Anyway, um, my next appointment with a surgeon is, or actually my first appointment with a surgeon, is November 15th, and I'm looking forward to that, and apparently the, the whole thing with the consultation, it, the paperwork said it's going to be two to three hours long. So, that's kind of weird. I thought the consultation may be my last 45 minutes at best. But anyway, <clears throat> so the ball's rolling and things are going good so far. And uh, I wanted to make this video to tell everybody what was going on. I currently weigh about 325, I believe. And my goal weight is, um, well, I'd be happy at 200, real happy at 180, and I'd be ecstatic at 150 but I know that I have my own personal goal and the doctor will have his for me so I guess I'll mainly go by his but uh the reason why I'm actually having the surgery is I can't do the things I used to do you know like riding a bike uh, roller skate just simple things like going to the mailbox without getting out of breath um grocery shopping without having to sit down you know, with my arthritis in my knees and my back hurting so bad, and I have feet problems, and I got irritable bowel syndrome. I have uh, FSGS, which, by the way, is directly uh, related to obesity. It's a kidney c a condition. Um, high blood pressure, asthma. So I qualify. I got a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Plus a few other things I'm not going to mention. Um, I'm looking forward to the process even though it's a long process um I don't know um I'm not doing this to be model thin I'm doing this to actually you know get healthy so that I can do things and of course you know buying new clothes and looking a little bit better is really just a cherry on top of the Sunday for me because uh, the main thing is it's, I think it's going to be so wonderful to be able to do the things I could do, you know, 15, 16 years ago that I can't do now, or that I find more difficult to do now. You know, I can't, I just can't do stuff, and I want to do stuff. I, I'm only 41, and I still have plenty more things left to do, and as my best friend told me, you know, do you really think there's more to life than what you're doing now? And I do believe that there is. And... I don't have any self-control over myself anymore. I've lost control. And I really do believe that this is the best chance for me to keep it off. 
once I've taken it off. So, you know, I know my relationship with food's going to change, and I know I'm going to miss that. You know, I'm going to miss a lot of that, and I'm going to miss drinking sodas and. Which, by the way, I'm hoping that I'm one of these people who could tolerate, you know, maybe a couple of sips of soda a day, maybe, just to get the taste in. But if I can't, you know, that's fine. Whatever. You know, I'm going to do what I have to to make this work and and stuff. And right now, I hate any kind of exercise because it's so painful and it's difficult. I'm hoping that once the weight starts coming off, I can do a lot more exercises and I can really get into it. Because um, I've lost weight before, plenty of times, you know, and just gained it right back. But anyway, um, I want to have a shout out to um, Allison, and I don't know if I'm saying your name correctly, last name, Pacino. She was the very first weight loss video I ever seen. And at the time when um, I saw it, she weighed, <coughs> excuse me, she weighed 540 pounds. Now she's down to like, I think maybe 200 or less, I think. And she just inspired me, and I do believe, and at the time I wasn't thinking about doing uh, a weight loss uh, surgery. She just inspired me for general general stuff, you know, like, you know, she done something, she took control and changed her life. You know, and with God's help, you can do anything if you just ask. And I think this is my, as they say at the seminar that I went to, this is not an operation, it's an opportunity. And I thought that was real cool. And very, um, I thought it was pretty deep for a doctor to say that. And I think it's a, I think it's a good thing. It's not an operation, it's an opportunity. And you know, you only get certain opportunities once in your lifetime. And I finally have insurance through my disability that will cover everything except for the program fee. And that's not bad so um but anyway back to Allison thank you Allison for being brave and going on here and exposing yourself to everybody I truly know what that feels like to be scared to do something like that like what I'm doing right now and I think you should get props for that and for just I mean, that's just, you were just exposed, and I appreciate you doing that. I know you did, did it for yourself, too, but I realized that you probably helped a lot of people doing that. I know you helped me, and I appreciate it. So, I know that was a little long. Hopefully, it wasn't too long and painful. And I'm going to document as much as I can with each step that I, that I continue to do, if I, I do along the um, path. So... Thank you for listening. Uh, make comments if you like. Subscribe if you like. Any advice is always welcome and highly appreciated. Everyone have a blessed day. Thank you. Oh, I forgot. This is also probably going to go on Facebook. So, hello to my Facebook friends and family. Alright, bye.